in this video, I'll show you how to turn this into this. You can block ads on any device that can run NordVPN's MeshNet. We'll focus on a great open source utility, Pi-hole, which relies on a DNS sinkhole. To give you an idea of what this means, imagine that you're running a company that is sending advertising material through the post. Whenever the local post office receives a letter from an address where your advertising company is registered, it discards the spam. That's very similar to how a DNS sinkhole works. Every time your web browser requests an advertisement, a clever DNS like Pi-hole recognizes that it's an ad and sends the request into a black hole. Before you begin, here is a website that tests how many ads your browser can block. Once you set everything up, let's recheck the website to see how many ads you can block. Pi-hole officially supports Linux operating systems only. However, installing Pi-hole on a Linux-based device is very easy because its creators have prepared a handy script that takes care of everything. My personal tip is to grab a Raspberry Pi 02W because it's the perfect match for Pi-hole's hardware requirements. Also, it's very power efficient and fairly inexpensive. Start by opening up the terminal. Then run the following command to download and execute the installation script. You might need to provide your user password for the script to work. In the installation dialog, select OK until you reach the static IP needed window. If your device already has a static LAN IP address configured, select Continue. Otherwise, complete the necessary IP adjustments in your network. Select the network interface your device is using. Then, select your preferred upstream DNS provider and click OK. Complete the installation process by choosing the block list, installing the admin web interface with the required modules, and configuring the query logging settings. Note down the address and password for the Pi-hole web interface and select OK. My Pi-hole device is already running NordVPN's MeshNet. If you need help installing it, be sure to check out the links in the description below the video. After installing Pi-hole, the next step is to set it up. By default, it will only accept requests coming from within the default subnet. Since MeshNet uses a different subnet, all requests made from MeshNet peers will be ignored. There are two ways to take care of this. You can run the following command in the terminal to enable listening on all network interfaces, or open up your browser, enter the URL of the Pi-hole web interface that was provided in the installation complete window, and log in. If you are accessing the web interface from the host device directly, you can use this URL. Otherwise, use the device's local IP address instead of the local host part. Go to Settings and select the DNS tab. In the Interface section, select Permit All Origins option. Finally, click Save. Pi-hole is now installed and prepared for use via MeshNet. The last part of the setup is adding blocking lists. These lists contain numerous URLs known for spam, phishing, and advertisement. Once you add a certain list, you will be able to block the chosen web addresses, further increasing your safety and security. Here's how you do that. I'm going to choose my blocking list from firebug.net, but there are other websites online. Open your Pi-hole web interface, select Add Lists, and in the Address field, enter your preferred block list URL. Finally, click Add. You will see a newly added block list in the list of the Add List section. To start using the newly imported block list, update Pi-hole's Gravity script. Open Pi-hole's web interface and expand the Tools section. Click Update Gravity, Next, in the new window, press Update and wait for the process to finish. Once done, you will see a success message. Alternatively, you can run the following command in the terminal. Now, to take advantage of everything you just set up, let's focus on client devices. I'll cover Windows-based devices in this video. For other types of devices, make sure to check out our documentation. You will find a link for it in the description below the video. Keep in mind that both devices need to be connected via MeshNet. We'll start with a Windows 11 device. First, right-click Start and select Network Connections. Then, 
choose the network type your device is using, Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Find the DNS server assignment option and click Edit. Next, choose Manual from the drop-down menu and enable IPv4. In the preferred DNS server field, put in the MeshNet IP of your Pi-hole device. In the alternate DNS server, use the DNS address of another provider. For example, 103.86.96.100, which is the NordVPN DNS server. Additionally, it's worth setting up your Pi-hole with NordVPN so that whenever you connect to NordVPN, you can still use your Pi-hole DNS sinkhole. To do that, open the NordVPN app. Then, navigate to the devices in the MeshNet tab and copy the MeshNet IP address of your Pi-hole device. In the lower left corner, click Settings and select the Connection section. To enable Use Custom DNS, toggle and click the drop-down arrow in the first field, paste the copied MeshNet IP address, finally, click Save. Now, let's check the test website I mentioned earlier. That's a great result! One last tip, you can and probably should use an ad blocker extension within your web browser. Make sure to get a reputable one. Okay, that's it for the video. And if you liked it, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe for more.